Port Centerline measurements, how do we do it, and what's this info good for? G'day guys, Jake here again from Bain Racing. All right, let's get into it. Basically, there's a few ways of doing it. Um, you know, I've seen guys use string and uh, tie wire and all sorts, but my favorite go-to is 20 thou uh, solder wire, mainly because it shapes really easy and it holds a shape. So you can basically mold it with your thumb to the port, pull it out, you've got a port shape, uh, and you can lay the long side and the short side down on the bench and away you go. Um, why do we need to know this? That comes down to our harmonic element. So runner length is all to do with the sonic part of it. What we want and what we're trying to do is calculate the length right to the third harmonic. So that pressure wave that comes back down the valve, that really dense area, we want that to go in the cylinder right before the valve shuts. This increases our molecular mass in the cylinder and will make more horsepower at the end of the day. So for example, uh, this engine here, this is a small block Chev NA, 9,000 RPM plus, you know, around 1,000 horsepower mark they're targeting. So we want to really optimize the runner length on this. So we're basically going to find our center line, which we've done here. We add the two lengths together, comes to 12.125, divide by two. That gives us a primary length in the cylinder head of 6.0, uh, 6.25. From here, we can calculate our runner length and get it all tied in really well. Cheers, guys.